In this video, we'll take a look at the molecular geometry bond angles for N2H2. So we start off with this Lewis structure here, a valid Lewis structure. The nitrogens, they each have eight. They have octets. The hydrogens, they have two, so that's good. When we look at the Lewis structure and we want to figure out the molecular geometry, what makes this one difficult is what is the central atom? Since this is symmetrical here, let's just say this is going to be our central atom, this nitrogen here. So if we look at this nitrogen right here, we see we have a hydrogen attached, this single bonded hydrogen. We have a lone pair. And then we're going to treat this whole thing over here, this double bond to the nitrogen, and we have the hydrogen, as just one connection or one item. So we really have these three things here attached to the nitrogen. If you use the AXE notation, A, that's the central nitrogen, so A. X, that's the number of atoms or number of kind of things attached. We have a hydrogen here, and then we have this whole group here. So we have two things attached to this. And then E, that would be the lone pairs. And we have one lone pair. So we have this A, X, 2, E. If you look that up, you'd see that this is a bent molecular geometry. And the bond angles for this would be approximately 120 degrees. Let's look at a visualization, though, to really kind of help you understand what's going on here. So remember, we're considering the nitrogen that was on the left, our central atom. So we have that single bonded hydrogen. Let's put that over there. Then we had the double bond to the other nitrogen. Put that right there. So far, we have this linear molecular geometry. But that lone pair that was on top of the nitrogen, we need to put that in. And when we do that, you can see where this lone pair up here at the top, that forces the hydrogen and then that nitrogen and the other hydrogen it forces them down and we get a bent molecular geometry bond angle is approximately 120 degrees here if you wanted to look at the electron geometry you need to take into account all of the things attached to that nitrogen and then we look at the lone pair the hydrogen then the other nitrogen and hydrogen that gives us this trigonal planar electron geometry so we have a trigonal planar electron geometry but our molecular geometry, where we only take into account the atoms, let's hide the lone pairs. Our molecular geometry is bent. Put the lone pairs back. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So whether you kind of visualize what's happening or if you use this AXE notation, we end up with a bent molecular geometry, bond angle about 120 degrees, electron geometry, trigonal planar. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.